What's up guys, hope you're having an amazing day. As you can tell, I am playing around with the green screen. I've always wanted to try this and I'm finally trying it, so that's why I'm gonna do different backgrounds right now. And you guys have probably noticed that I've been wearing this hat a lot, almost every single video I had this hat on. And that's because my hair is crazy right now and I can't get a haircut for a while until the barbershops open back up. So I will be wearing this hat for probably all of my videos until I get another haircut. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing a workout. It's gonna be a tempo, probably around 25 to 30 minutes and I'm not sure how fast I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to average under six minute pace, but I don't know if I can do that right now. But before I talk about all that, I wanna talk Talk about my youtube channel so right now i have 2940 watch hours and i need 4000 so i'm about 73 percent of the way there and it's going fast so i'm projected to get there in 44 days and the closer i'm starting to get to this goal i've had for almost two years the less i care about it and i don't know why I'm still going to make videos for you guys. I'm still going to be posting a lot. I'm not going to be posting every single day. The only reason I'm doing that right now is to get closer to the goal and because I have so much time. But once I get there, I'm not going to be posting as much, but the videos are going to go up in quality and they're going to go up in lengths. So like a workout video is probably going to be like 15 minutes and the quality is going to be all 4K. Everything's going to be a lot better. I'm just going to be posting a lot less. So less videos, but more quality videos. And the majority of my videos are going to be running. But I just wanted to share that with you guys that I'm 75% of the way there. And if all things work out, I'm going to be there in the next 45 days. So yeah, back to running. I'm going to be running a 30 minute tempo in the Nike Infinity Runs. So I'm going to try to get some footage of today's run. It's going to start storming pretty soon. I'm going to bring my GoPro out. I'm not going to be able to carry it around with me. So I'm going to place it somewhere and just do laps around summer and hopefully it doesn't start raining and if it does start raining i'll put the gopro underneath a tree or something like that but yeah let's go get this run started so i just finished my 10 minute warm-up i'm getting ready to do this tempo i might try to only do 25 and make it a little bit faster but we'll see how it goes so i just finished the run about a minute ago i'm really tired right now i ended up going seven kilometers which is a little under 4.6 miles, I think. 4.6 miles in 25 minutes. I think my average pace was 337 per kilometer, which is, I think, right around 547 pace. But yeah, my last kilometer was 318. It's pushing pretty hard. And the shoes felt good. The shoes still feel good. 266 miles on now. And I'm gonna go back home right now, finish my cool down, get some salad. My mom just bought some Caesar salads, which sound really good. And then I'm gonna finish up this video. So I'll see you guys when we get back. So I got back and my mom finished a couple things up in my room. She put this poster up, it was not up there before. And she also put that one up about God and then two more posters about my cross country team. And then on this side, she also put up all my plaques on the wall, which looks very nice. Thank you, mom. And this is the first time I've seen my ring since I got this. I'm gonna put this on today and wear it today. All right guys, so I got my ring on right here and I wanna talk about today's run. I'm gonna read off all the splits that I have from today's run. And I have them all in kilometers. And keep in mind that a kilometer is 423 is a seven flat mile. It looks like my first kilometer was 355. My second one was 344, the same as the third one. And then my fourth one dropped down to 336, 330, 327, and 322. So that was a perfect example of how to negative split on your tempo. I think today was definitely one of my better runs back. I definitely feel like I can breathe a lot more in. My arms are a lot less tired and everything's a lot less tired and achy. The shoes still felt amazing. And I think I might start training for a half marathon. I'm not sure. I wanted to share that with you guys. I just talked to my coach and asked him if he thinks it's a good idea for me to train. And if I did train for the half marathon, my goal would be 111. I've always wanted to race an all out one. I've done it in practice a couple times. I think my fastest half marathon is at 556 pace, but I think that'll be a cool series for you guys. And I also commented that on the athlete specials video and 140 people liked that. And I also got like 10 comments on that video of people saying that they would like to watch that. And I also emailed my video productions teacher and I asked him if he could help me out with my intro. So that might be pretty cool. And I wanna share that with you guys in a couple days. And I also don't have very much planned for the next couple days just to make a couple more videos and get in a couple more miles. I think I'm gonna do some core after I finish up with this video and I'm also gonna go downstairs and make some dried apples. So yeah, pretty boring, nothing really super special or anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a 
like and subscribe. I got plenty of content coming soon and I have to do one live stream before the end of March because that was one of my goals to get one successful live stream in and I haven't done that so far so my goal is to get one in. Make sure you guys are staying safe out there and staying home. I will see you guys next time.